Hello friends, welcome to Magnotech YouTube channel. Friends, in this video, we will discuss in detail about epicyclic gear train. So from this figure, you can say A and B is a gear and here in between O1 and O2 that is arm C. Okay. So here the pivot point of A and O1 is same here and the pivot point of B and the pivot point of this arm also. So the gear A and arm C have a common axis at O1 about which they can rotate and gear B mesh with gear A has its axis on the arm O2 about which the gear B can rotate. Okay. Now what is the motion of this epicyclic gear train? So here we, if we consider this arm is fixed then gear A rotate suppose in a clockwise then gear B rotate in a anti-clockwise. So it is like a simple gear train. Okay. But what if the gear A is fixed? If we fix the gear A, then arm C will rotate over here in anti-clockwise and parallelly B will rotate around A. So here we can say, but if gear A is fixed, but if the gear A is fixed and arm is rotate about the gear A, it means arm is rotate about the gear A then gear B is forced to rotate upon and around the gear A. So here uh, gear B is forced to rotate like this. Okay. And such a motion is called the epicyclic and gear train arrange in such a manner that one or more than one member can move upon and around another member. Okay. So this is the motion of epicyclic gear train. Now what is the application of epicyclic clear train? So it is useful for the transmitting the high velocity ratio with the gear of moderate size and comparatively lesser space. So if we consider these things lesser space and all that then it is used for the back gear of lathe, differential gear of automobile, hoist, pulley blocks and wristwatch etc. Okay. So this is the application of epicyclic gear train okay now how we can find the velocity ratio of epicyclic gear train so here you can see there are two types of method for find out the velocity ratio of epicyclic gear train first is the tabular method and second is the algebraic method now let us understand what is the tabular method now in a tabular method you can see this table and by this table you can calculate the velocity ratio of epicyclic gear train. Now let us see about this table. So step number one in step number one we assume that arm is fixed. Okay. So arm C is fixed over here and gear A rotate in a clockwise sorry anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So the arm is fixed and gear A rotate in anti-clockwise direction. So here because of arm is fixed we consider it as a zero. This is a rotation of elements. So here three elements arm C, gear A and gear B. Arm, gear A and gear B. Three elements gear given here and arm C having a zero rotation, gear A having a rotation, one rotation in anti-clockwise direction. So according to this gear B have a rotation negative in clockwise direction because this is anti-clockwise taken as a positive. So here clockwise taken as a negative and it is TA upon TB. Now how it comes let us see as we know the gear ratio NB upon NA is equal to TA upon TB. Okay. But here NA is equal to 1. So if NA is equal to 1 then NB is equal to TA upon TB we can write. So here instead of NB we can write minus TA upon TB and minus we have added because it is a clockwise and A gear A rotate anti-clockwise that's why it's a positive. Okay. Now next is arm is fixed and gear A rotate through X revolution. Now instead of 1 we consider the X number of revolution gear A rotate and arm is still fixed. So here gear B will rotate x into minus x into ta upon tb. I hope you understand this. So here nothing we just instead of 1 we add x. Okay. 
so here plus x and here minus x into t upon t b now add y number uh, y revolutions to all element now we have to add plus y revolution to all elements so here plus y plus y and plus y and last one total motion of this train total motion of this gear train that is y x plus y so here this is x plus y and here y minus x into t a upon t b so you can understand this is we have to summation of these two things okay so here x plus y here y only and here y minus x into t a upon t b so i hope you understand this uh, table and by using this table we will calculate the example okay uh, by using tabular method okay and find out the velocity ra ratio and all that so i hope you understand this tabular method okay so this is the same thing what i told you okay tabular method and step okay like nb is equal to ta upon tb and all now second method is algebraic method so by using algebraic method we can also find out the gear ratio in epicyclic gear train so let us see how we can find in algebraic method suppose speed of the gear a relative to the arm of c now you know the arm and gear a right so here speed of the gear a relative to the arm c that is na minus nc a relative to c that's why na minus nc now speed of gear b relative to the arm c so here nb minus nc now you just think that since the gear a and b are meshing directly therefore they will revolve in opposite direction okay so that we have seen now here we consider first of all b and then a so here speed of gear b relative to the c that is nb minus nc upon speed of gear a relative to the nc that is na minus nc is equal to minus ta upon tb so this things we have discussed why this is a minus okay because this is a opposite direction and ta upon tb this is because of gear ratio so this is a main equation that you have to remember for algebraic method now in this equation this is a very very basic equation now in this equation what if the arm is fixed so if arm is fixed then nc is equal to 0 so here nc is equal to 0 okay so here nb upon na is equal to minus ta upon tb which is like previously we have seen okay so this is a very simple equation nb upon na is equal to minus ta upon tb and if the gear a is fixed then na is equal to 0 so here in this equation if we put na is equal to 0 then here nb minus nc upon 0 minus nc is equal to minus ta upon tb so basically this equation comes to like this nb upon nc is equal to 1 plus ta upon tb because nc nc gone so it's come to 1 okay now final equation if gear a is fixed is nb upon nc is equal to 1 plus ta upon tb so by this way we can find the gear ratio okay and example uh, by algebraic method so by this two way we can find out the gear or we can say velocity ratio of epicyclic gear train that is tabular and algebraic method so hope guys you understand this what i deliver over here and if you like this video then press like button share this video to your friends and subscribe my channel for more and more video thank you jai hind jai bharat